this question was asked by a brother Malav on the YouTube comment box. The question is like this. Suppose the firm operates in perfectly competitive market. Market price of product is $10. The firm estimates cost function is total cost of the firm is 2 plus 10 Q minus 4 Q square plus Q cube. Okay. We have to find the level of output that the firm should produce to maximize profit and also find out the profit at the equilibrium and what is the minimum price required by the firm to stay in the market. Okay. So we are being given here. Price is being given as $10 and total cost is being given as 2 plus 10 q minus 4 q square plus q cube okay so the answer to the first part uh, first part will be so for part a firm will maximize profit uh, at a point where its price is equal to marginal revenue which in turn is equal to marginal cost okay so at equilibrium so let me write here uh, Profit will be maximum when price is equal to marginal cost, which is equal to marginal revenue. Okay, so price. And this is the condition for a profit maximization in perfect competition. You know this stuff. What is our marginal cost? Marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost function with respect to quantity. Uh, so that is simply the derivative of C with respect to Q. So derivative of constant is 0, derivative of q is 1, so we have 10 here. Derivative of q square is 2q, so 2 fours are 8, we have minus 8 q plus derivative of q cube is 3 q squares, 3 q square. This is our marginal cost and price is being given as price is equal to 10, which is also our marginal revenue in case of perfect competition. Okay, so using this equation, price is equal to marginal, marginal cost implies our price is 10 so i can write 10 should be equal to our marginal cost this 10 minus 8 q uh, plus 3 q square okay 10 and 10 gets cancelled so 3 q square if i transpose uh, this on other side it will become positive is equal to 8 q so we can uh, cancel 1 q so we are left with uh, 3 q square is equal to 8 which means sorry 3q only because we have cancelled 1q which gives us 8 upon 3 which is equal to if i write it in decimals uh, it gives us q is equal to 2.7 so profit maximizing level of output that the firm should produce will be equal to 2.7 okay so this was part first determine the level of profit at the equilibrium okay so for part second so at equilibrium uh, profit is simply given by we know profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost total revenue is simply price into equilibrium quantity minus total cost uh, is being given us as 2 plus 10 q minus 4 q square uh, plus q cube okay so p into q p is being given as 10 q which we got 2.7 so 10 into 2.7 minus so we have 2 plus 10 uh, value of q which we got here 2.7 use the long brackets here okay uh, minus 4 into 2.7 square plus 2.7 cube okay when you solve this step uh, you will get profit is equal to i have calculated this comes out to be 7.5 so the profit at equilibrium quantity will be equal to 7.5 Coming to the last part, which is very important here. Uh, what minimum price is required by the firm to stay in the market? Okay, so we need to find out uh, the price, minimum price at which firm will stay in the market. Okay, so that means a uh, firm will stay in a market where we know firm will stay in the market so let's draw first to the graph then i will explain it so if this is our quantity and we this is price and average variable cost and marginal cost on this axis okay let us say this is our average variable cost a v c and let us say this is our marginal cost okay so firm will stay in the market where uh, marginal cost is equal to average variable cost or price is equal to minimum of average variable cost this is the 
minimum price where the firm will stay in the market okay so price will be equal to minimum of average variable cost and minimum of average uh, variable cost can be calculated so we know that marginal cost intersects average variable cost in perfect competition at its minimum point so marginal cost cuts this avc at its minimum point so price is equal to minimum of avc so at minimum of avc marginal cost is equal to avc which means our marginal cost should be equal to average variable cost okay marginal cost we have calculated here okay so our marginal cost is 10 minus 8 q plus 3 q square we need to calculate the average variable cost okay so total cost is let me write it again here we have 2 plus 10 q minus 4 q square plus q cube okay this setup is our variable cost this is our fixed cost to two okay so that level of cost there does not depend upon the level of output that is fixed cost so variable cost average variable cost will be equal to variable cost upon q so variable cost is 10 q minus 4 q square plus q cube and to this we divide by q okay let me write it here this q so when we divide so we get 10 minus uh, 4q plus q square this will be our average variable cost so let's equate marginal cost with average variable cost we have 10 minus 4q uh, plus q square okay so 10 to 10 gorabas haval we are left with <coughs> so we have 3q square uh, 3q square transposing this q square this becomes minus q square then we have minus 8q transposing this becomes plus 4q should be equal to 0 or we have 3q square and value of q square we are left with 2q square minus 8q plus 4q comes out to be minus 4q is equal to 0 or 2q square is equal to transposing this 4q 1q gets cancelled we are left with uh, 2 q is equal to 4 which implies q is equal to 4 upon 2 which gives us 2 uh, which gives us the value of uh, q is 2 okay that means when uh, quantity is being produced 2 and we need to find out the minimum price so minimum price is equal to minimum of abc so minimum of abc means that means our price will be equal to minimum of abc abc evaluating this at q is equal to 2 so that the price the firm needs to have to remain in the market will be equal to uh, what is abc just plug q is equal to 2 in our uh, either in abc function or marginal cost function okay let's plug uh, this in average variable cost function so the price uh, will be equal to 10 minus 4 the value of q is 2 so let me write it here 2 uh, plus 2 square which gives us this is 10 minus 4 to the 8 plus 4 so that's what it's rather than or share which is equal to 6 that means the price at which the firm can stay in the market will be equal to 6 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you